One of our favorites is here. You's about to learn something. That's right. Very rarely do you actually learn things on The Jason Show. When this guest is here, you learn something. Spring break season is kicking into high gear this month, but flight prices, my goodness, they continue to be higher than normal. Lucky for you, we're helping you find the best deals today. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our show, The Thrifty Traveler, Jared Kamrowski, everybody. Great to be back, Jason. Hi, buddy. How you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, I always I, I always say this, but I travel, I, I know this. I, I know the pain here with this. Flight prices are crazy they domestically. Are crazy. I don't care where you're going. What is the deal? Yeah, it's all supply and Answer demand. Us, I Jared. Know. No, no, it's <laughs> it's all supply and demand. I mean, as you know, airlines shrunk during the pandemic and they haven't been able to grow back to their normal size and ex exceed rise to travel travel demand quickly. That is enough. still the problem. Part it is of the still problem? and just demand is so strong. Fl flight uh, fuel prices, oil prices are high. I mean, there's just inflation. It's everything, um, but it's like you said, it is brutal out there. It's br destinations that are no Chicago. The ones I go to on the regular Vegas, Chicago, Orlando. Mm. My, I've never seen them higher. Yes, never seen them higher. So the one thing to kind of beat this is like let the cheap flight be your guide like be open be flexible of where you're gonna go yeah you know maybe you're gonna go to Maui because it's on sale um, so definitely you know check it out instead of maybe going to Chicago which might actually be more expensive which is crazy and he's not kidding yeah uh, in Chicago is anyway I, I don't want to get down the rabbit hole with that uh, so let's let's talk solutions we just complained yes. now let's talk solutions um, best time to book flights so you got to be thinking far ahead so the window is 30 to 60 days before departure for domestic flights okay okay so for write that down everyone 44 okay. days is the sweet spot but for international it's two to six months with the sweet spot being four months before departure so you can't you do not want to be booking within 30 days of departure that's a huge just rule that you want to avoid like you got to be thinking ahead because you don't want to be booking last minute travel, especially now. Domestic or international, right. it doesn't matter. Last minute, within within 30 days, you are going to get rocked. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, believe me. I've, yeah. Um, we, we mentioned it a lot on the show. Google flight price alerts. Yep. Can you explain? I mean, we talk about it a lot, but I think it's important every so often to stop down and explain how it works and why it's good. Yeah. So we have a great guide at thriftytraveler.com, but the the... Overview is all you need is a Gmail email account, and then you can just go to Google Flights, find the dates that you want, and you can set price alerts, and it will monitor it for up to 11 months. When the price drops, you'll get an email alert. I mean, I do this myself, and I run a flight deal alert service. Yeah, um, It works really well, and one of the best things is if you book a flight, still have that price alert set up because if the price drops and you booked a main cabin or better ticket, you can cancel and rebook and get a voucher back. So that's that's that one of my audience. Things. Jared's not joking. That j again, I every, whatever Jared says, I listen to. And this happened. This is real, real life. This just happened. We booked a flight to Vegas for Colin's birthday. Okay, and it was really expensive. We he got a price alert that it went down two hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. He called Delta, rebooked, and within two minutes, I had a credit in my account for $250, it's, uh, a Delta it's credit for $250. Yeah. Look, the Delta agent admits they hate doing it. They, oh, it's a pain. A Delta on their like shareholder calls. Oh, they, they hate they, it. The, the executives hate it, but this is like one of the things that came out of the pandemic. Take advantage of it. Never book a basic economy ticket. Always book main cabin or higher. It's gonna cost you a little bit more, but the ability, you know, like you and Colin did, to cancel for a voucher, super easy. You don't even have to call. You actually can do it online, cancel it, and just rebook it. Yeah, do it and then, Listen closely to that one too. Do not do anything less than main cabin, yes. right? No oh. basic economy. No, pay pay, pay a little, a bit, little more. bit more. Yeah. It'll be worth it in the long run. Um, great time to travel overseas is when Thanksgiving. So yeah, it does, I know right away people are like, oh what? Um, but it's one of those days that not very many Americans travel overseas, and obviously Thanksgiving is an American holiday. So there's this kind of like weird point. So if you maybe are sick of your family and you just yeah. want to go somewhere on Thanksgiving, I don't judge people for that. No, but it is one of the cheapest weekends to travel internationally. Let's say you don't want you want to go to the Caribbean, Mexico, or you want to go to Europe. It is one of the best sweet spots, and then you can leverage those extra days off with vacation, and it's a beautiful little. Instead of fighting with your family over politics, fly to Paris. That's right. <laughs>
<laughs> That's a win-win. It's a win-win. Get a croissant in peace. You don't have to worry about bringing up anything. That's right. Let's go. Uh, whenever Jared's here, we always go through uh, some current deals. Hit yeah, me with yeah. your best shot, Pat Minotaur. So this one is like this has been around for three months and it's crazy. Minneapolis to Maui with one stop on Delta this spring and fall for four seventy five. So normally that's like seven hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. And the idea that you can go to Hawaii for super cheap right now doesn't make sense to me. No, but take advantage if you can use Google Flights to find these. Like I always say, Nashville uh, on Delta nonstop this spring for one seventy seven. Washington, D.C. also on Delta. <laughs> <laughs> somebody, this spring. somebody oh, just when, reacted heavily to that one. So I know people are like, wait a second, I just went to, you know, whatever. I just went to like Florida for like six hundred dollars. And you're talking about one hundred and seventy seven bucks. But seriously, Washington, D.C. this spring for one ninety seven Boston one fifty seven Delta again, nonstop round trip this spring. And here's a far if you want to go to Copenhagen, one stop on Iceland air this fall and winter, including Christmas and New Year's Eve. Another great opportunity to avoid family uh, for four seventy nine. So go into Denmark from Minneapolis, one stop Iceland air, great airline. Again, this yeah. trend you, when you were here last time, it was cheaper to fly to some international destinations than it was to Florida. Oh yeah. No question. It's crazy. When we come back, we always let you borrow Jared uh, while he's here. The best travel questions from all of you when we return. <laughs> he's the best. Our buddy Jared from Thrifty Travelers here. Whenever, like I said, whenever Jared's on, we like uh, we let you borrow him for a little while. And sorry, I hope you don't mind we term it like that. Uh, ask him your used. questions with Ask Thrifty Traveler. We asked your question. You asked our, your questions on our Facebook page. Let's uh, get started with Cindy. Hi, Cindy. She writes, I'm traveling to Europe next month. Would you recommend only taking a carry on or could I do a check bag? So of course you can check a bag, but yeah. it's going to cost you money. So I will say, you know, my wife and I, and we travel with a one year old. We went to Europe twice in the last year and we've always carried on. So the, the way to get around this is, you know, let's say you're going for two, maybe three, four weeks. If you're going really long, somewhere in that whole stretch of going to Europe, get an Airbnb with a washer and dryer and just do laundry. Mm, that's, that's a re that's traveling really good light is just so amazing. And having that giant bag is just so awful, especially when going to Europe. And you always overpack, don't you? You'll always yeah. overpack. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, number two is Shelly. Hi, Shelly. She asks, we're going out of the country in May. Is it a good idea to purchase travel insurance? Yeah, Shelly asks a like, really good question because right away you're like, I maybe should get travel insurance. Not too expensive. So Shelly, I'd ask myself, you know, why am I buying it? You know, what's the purpose? If it's because I think I'm going to miss my flight or something, like we talked about in the last segment, buy main cabin or higher. You can cancel at any time up to essentially boarding and get a voucher back. And a lot of hotels that you book, now you can cancel within 24 hours of when you'd be checking in. So you know, if you have health issues, you know, maybe you need it. But long story short, you can get travel insurance, get a cancel for any reason policy. That's what it's called, because there's just so many nuances there. I have a, a, a kind of a backpack question off that one. I have a lot. I have relatives and friends that use sites like Expedia and Kayak because they think they're always going to get a better deal from those sites. But doesn't that add a layer? Oh, yes. That adds a layer of difficulty if you go to cancel. Am I right on that? That is absolutely correct. It's called a third party online travel agency. Cut the middleman out. You know, if we're talking about a hotel or an airline, I always book directly with the airline, I always book directly with the hotel. Um, you know, it's just going to make your life so, so much, much simpler. easier. You might be able to save 10 bucks, but that hours on the phone after a missed connection or a cancellation. Time no, is money with traveling. Don't do it. Sue asks, she's up next. Hi, Sue. Is there really a cheaper day of the week to book airline tickets or is that just a myth? It is a myth. Uh, you know, we talked about in the last segment, you know, always avoid booking within 30 days of departure. You know, book way out as far out. You can book out 11 months. The, the most important thing is the days you actually travel when your butt's going to be in that seat. Yeah. So traveling on Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Saturdays, those are the quieter days of the week and that's where the cheap flights are. So if you can be flexible, you know, fly out on a, a Wednesday, come back on a, on a Tuesday, that's going to be where you're going to save a lot. Next is Eric. Hi, Eric. Uh, he asks when it comes to credit card rewards points, are there things I should avoid using them for things that are a waste? So we always say, you know, just 
use your points to travel for things, you know, to save money or maybe take a trip that you normally couldn't afford. A lot of people get points paralysis where they're like, I want to get the absolute best deal. So as long as you're using them for travel and not redeeming them for like sunglasses or something like that that are generally a horrible idea, I say, you know, just just earn and burn. I, I, I bank them up all year for like my winter vacation. I, I use one credit card to bank points all year. I put everything I buy on it. And then at the end of the year, when I talk about going to Hawaii, my entire hotel uh, stay is free. My entire hotel stay in Hawaii. Earn uh, and burn. Earn and burn. Jamie's next. Hi, Jamie. When, uh, where is a great beach destination that is easy on the wallet, perhaps often overlooked? Well, that's a good question. Yeah, so let's maybe think about domestic travel for this one because it's especially uh, expensive right now. So California, I mean, everything's just really expensive in California. You know, Florida generally is going to be one of the cheaper places. There's so many different beaches. Um, there's a lot of nonstop flights. So I would say Florida and one uh, spot that's kind of popped up in the Florida panhandle is Destin, Florida, oh. um, which there's three nonstop stop flights from MSP right now on Allegiant, Sun Country and Delta. And if you book out this fall, I was looking this morning, you can find a pretty cheap flights like 250 bucks nonstop round trip on Delta. Destin. Del Destin. Yes. Okay, there we go. Give it up. It's Jared from Thrifty Traveler for the latest for the latest flight deals and travel news. Boop. Head to thriftytraveler.com. We're going to take a break back after this.